Snake Eyes Infidel. Uh, this has always been one of the cult favorites of the, of the Murphy Good folks out there. Uh, you know, in comparison to Liar's Dice, Liar's Dice has those nice juicy tannins. Snake Eyes is a little more serious. You know, you've got a bigger, more structured Zinfandel. Uh, and part of the reason for that is the old vines. Uh, you know, this wine's always been made typically between two vineyards. There was the Ellis Ranch and the Elaine Maria. We referred to it as the Battle of the Babes. We had the 85-year-old vines from Ellis Ranch, uh, which was from Nancy Dalziel, a fifth generation grower uh, in Alexander Valley, and then Elaine Maria Fopiano, who was actually a second generation grower, uh, most dry farm vineyards, also really gave some nice structure. Uh, had a little brighter fruit than the uh, Ellis Ranch, but uh, uh, you know, it was always between those two. Um, so I, I think you're really going to like the size. I mean, if you were going to age a Zinfandel, this would be the one to do it with because it does have those big tannins. Um, but again, it's a Zin, so it drinks well young. Uh, keep it bright. Keep it fruitful. Snake eyes.